Hi, second graders. Today we are doing the deep dive for module three, lesson 27. You will need your notebook and a pencil today. Today is another vocabulary deep dive, but we're looking at the prefix uni. <coughs> um, on other deep dives, we have looked at prefixes. And we've also talked about prefixes in foundations. Prefixes are a word parts attached to the beginning of words. The prefix un, dis, and in all mean not. The prefix re means again. Like if I reread something, I'm reading it again. Here are three words that we have. We have unique, unicorn, and unison. What do all three of these words have in common? Yes, they all begin with uni, U-N-I. Um, unique means one of a kind. Unicorn is a mythical animal with one horn. And unison means to perform something in one way or the same way. All of all the definitions also have the word one in them. One of a kind. A horse with, not a horse, a mythical animal with one horn to perform something in one way. So uni means one. What is a school uniform? We don't wear them here, but what is a school uniform? It's when all students have to wear the same outfit, or if you play a sport, you all wear a uniform so you can tell who's on the same team. Everyone has the same clothes. In the word uniform, we have uni at the front and then form as our base word. Uni means one and form means shape. Now uniform doesn't make everyone one shape, but it does look make them look similar on the outside. We are going to look at the word unicycle. Unicycle. So we have our prefix uni. Our base word is cycle. I wonder what that means. Well, the word bicycle is a bike with two wheels. So a unicycle must be, what do you think? Yeah, a bike with one wheel. So in your notebook, we're going to write this. We're going to write unicycle and bike with one wheel. Then, here's the fun part, you get to draw a picture of it. What would a bike with one wheel look like? I'm just gonna do a quick sketch of one. I think it would look kinda, here's my wheel. I know there's like a little thing in the middle and they have the little line things all around. Um, you have to have somewhere to sit. I don't remember how a unicycle works. I might sit on it, and I think there's pedals somewhere. Here's a leg on the other side. You have to have really good balance. There's my unicycle. Make little lines to show that we're wobbling around. <laughs> you get to draw your own picture of a unicycle, and don't forget to take a picture of your um, vocabulary word unicycle and then what it means in your notebook and put it on to see.